Peace, peace, family. What's good? It's your brother, God Science. I'm up in here once again. Shout out, special salute to the few. Really do appreciate y'all. Uh, hope you and your family's all right. You know what I mean? If y'all not, praying for y'all. Gonna get through it. Um, I made a video yesterday on the Young Pharaohs, uh, you know, to critique on Brother Louis Farrakhan. And I shouldn't have made the video for two reasons. One, I didn't watch the whole thing. So I, so I saw some comments, but I didn't really was able to answer it because I don't only saw like a lot, just the most of the beginning. Even though I tried to go and look at it today, but I can't find it. Maybe they took it down. <laughs> I don't know. Anyway, this shit is about, um, y'all know, you heard about the Nick Cannon thing. And um, I'm gonna be honest with that. Um, I don't know what the hell he really said either. Now, I know he said something about uh, Jewish people and because he's being labeled anti-Semitic. And, um, you know, Steven Jackson just went through something like that. And I got a problem with something now. Let me be careful. Well, I'm a small channel. Nobody gives a shit what the fuck I say. So I'm, I'm safe. <laughs> I can say what I want. See, there's benefits in being a small channel. Nobody gives a shit. So I can speak my mind. <laughs> I'm going to use the word some. Some is a very important word here. S-O-M-E. Some. And it's just, just my perspective on a lot of things. Some. Why are we going to use the word some? Because we understand that in in the universe we live in this universe is polarity one of the hermetic principles y'all y'all know that right i ain't gotta say that now if i have to guess he was probably speaking on now let's let's stop the bullshit we know that jewish and i'm not saying it's their fault but they do control a lot of well all of most of hollywood back in the days too i'm a person that watch classic movies all right i'm very weird that way a lot of people say i'm weird i like watching old gangster movies black and white and other movies too it's not just have to be gangster but just that old school for some reason i just like i like watching them videos my wife be looking at me crazy but I, uh, those movies and they be good movies a lot of people sleep on them because they ain't black and white you know and ain't shit blowing up but storylines but you really get to look and see how they portray black people. I mean, stop it. Stop it, man. Stop it. Now, we know who controlled Hollywood back then and still do. All right. So, my question is this. If you point out some, and we even could go back to the Atlantic slave trade where it's proven. I'm not speaking uh, for fake news all right, if you are educated and you do your history, a lot of people participated in the slave trade, including some Jewish people. That's facts. The point is this. <clears throat> Let's just say, let me give this example. Let's say <clears throat> we got at work, right? And we got two employees. One of them is Jewish and one of them is, let's say, Latino. And the you know register keeps coming up short that shit keeps coming up short and you're like you know so you start doing your inspector gadget investigation and shit to see what's going who's doing it and you find out it's the jewish guy that do does it now when you go to call them out you call him out because he's doing it but he happens to be jewish does that make you a anti-semitic if you're pointing out something that this person is doing, but what he's doing is not considered moral, but you call him out and you're anti-Semitic. You see, it's like a shield that I don't like. Of course, there's people out there that live in this racist, low... Uh, to be a racist, you have to have a very low vibration on this planet. Very low vibration. And I'm not one of them. You know what I mean? But... Of course, there's people that don't like other people because of their culture, they how they look, how big their nose is, just real dumb shit. But if you have 
a group of people or someone doing something and you call them out and just because they fucking they're, they're Jewish doesn't mean that you anti-Semitic that you hate Jewish people and some of the things that people bring up for instance like Louis Farrakhan <clears throat> I think in my opinion to me it's like more is expected now if we know what you know World War II in Germany and all this shit we know what happened alright and I'm not here to compare what happened to, uh, you know, us. It, it's just it's the worst of humanity, all right? And the people, the people almost got wiped out. That's fucked up. So you understand what oppression is. You understand what, you know, even if you didn't physically go through it, your grandparents told you about it. Come on. Just like how it's a double standard when we talk about slavery, which I don't like to talk about because we had a history before that. But if you talk about your kids about slavery, they will say, get over it. But when we talk about the Holocaust, <gasps> stop it. There's a double standard there. Stop it. Doesn't mean you hate Jewish people. Stop the nonsense. There's righteous people and then there's people that just don't have no morals and you know that exists in every group. White people, black people, it's a human being thing. It transcends race or your the, the color of your skin. It's your ego. It's it's this human shit that people like panic talk about that's just not perfect. And very tribal And you know so It just shows you that <clears throat> And then when You do this it just shows It's like see this is what I'm talking about Because You got someone like um, I don't know if y'all watch sports What's his name um, Oh man Deshaun Jackson Jax, Deshaun, Deshaun Jackson I think that's what's his name is Deshaun Jackson Yeah he played for the uh, Philadelphia Eagles. Now you see the shit that he's in for even saying something. But when Riley Cooper called someone a nigga, you know, it wasn't such a big deal. This is this is the call out. You know what I'm saying? Now this is this is what I mean. If you're gonna be fair like that, just do it all across the fucking board. You know, and I think that's what some of these people mean. Some of these dudes is working for, for guys that are Jewish and they don't understand that perspective. And that's all this is. None of us can jump out of someone else's shoes and go in their shoes and understand their perspective. If we had the ability to do that as human, there'll be peace on earth. I just came up with the fucking, I just came up with the damn solution to peace on earth. If everyone can jump in someone's shoes and see their perspective, understanding what happened. You might not agree with them, but you have more understanding. And I don't think, uh, you know, Nick Cannon hates anybody. He's just all about truth and just history. And these things fucking happen. And they're still happening. You know, and you know, you one thing I can say is this. You can talk all that shit about, you know, Louis Farrakhan being anti-Semitic, but I've never heard Never heard of no NOIs getting caught blowing up Jewish saying, um, uh, you know, places of home, their home, their places of worship. I have never heard some shit like that. I've heard about some KKK niggas saying, um, dudes and shit doing that, but I, I ain't never heard of no, um, Nation of Islam people getting together and going to do some shit like that because uh, Yan Elijah Muhammad told them bet different. You'd be the same shit. You'd be the same way. What's the difference between me and the race, the, the racist shit that we calling out? If we we turn around and do some shit like that, that's savage behavior. You know what I'm saying? But need people need to pick up a book, man. We have to understand we're in the information age right now, and it's either two things. And I'm out. I ain't gonna sit here and talk all day. It's either people playing stupid, they like to play stupid, or they really are fucking ignorant. And they haven't read no, nothing. And I've heard this before. Someone being accused of being anti-Semitic because he said uh, some Jewish people were involved in the slave trade. It's true. Does that mean that I hate every single... Stop it. It don't even make sense. 
but you can't say nothing. I get it. I get it. So, you know, we're in this hypersensitive world where, you know, <laughs> I don't know. I, I don't get how human beings can't see that there's some there's deep is things that's deeper to a human being than just their fucking skin color or how they look or what culture they're from uh, you know does it really matter that much in the fucking end it doesn't and i think that's that's what that's where humanity needs to go because we ain't going nowhere all this shit about us being you know of you know, connecting with other worlds, because there are other other fucking people. You know, you know, people living out there in, in other uh, galaxies. I believe that. I don't believe that. I fucking know that. Period. And us being a part of a, a galactic federation, who the fuck wants us to be a part of that? We gonna start fighting one of. They might be yellow skinned, then. You know, we don't. They don't want to be around us, probably. That's why we see them in the fucking sky, and, and a lot of people be like, "Well, why don't they come in contact?" Because y'all, y'all retarded. Grow the fuck up. It's like grow up, people. It's not gonna happen, of course. But I mean, and this is just mind control shit. You know, this is just mind control shit. Pit one person. Make sure the people, you know, one thing you can say, you people don't want people to get together. This is from the beginning of time. You see that shit. People don't want people to get together. You always got to remember, forget who you really are and who you fucking really are. It's not all about this fucking, the way you look physically. That's like a, min a little minute piece of what the fuck a human being is and what we're capable of and who are, who we really are which are which is god anyway man thank you guys for watching really appreciate y'all what y'all think about nick cannon um <laughs> you know i think he's gonna be okay pdd already extended his hand to you know I mean, because, you know, it's, it's ridiculous. But it just shows you how much power and what can I say? Anyway, thank you guys for watching. Peace.